It's your boy King Brando. What's up, Brando fam? How you doing? Today I got a really big treat for y'all. Um, J. Cole's album, KOD, Kids on Drugs, King Overdose, and I forgot the other meaning he said it could have been. You interpret it how you want to. Uh, interested to see what he's got. Um, I think it's going to be about drugs and all that stuff. Hope you guys like it. Um, oh, one thing. I am not going to talk a lot during the actual, you know, me listening to it like that. I'm not going to talk as much as I usually do in my reviews. I'm going to wait to the end. I'm going to mark where it's at on the end. So if you just want to go to my actual, like, review review, you can go to it. But yeah, J. Cole, K.O.D., let's go, man. This is, I, I feel like this is going to be epic. It's got to be better than uh, For Your Eyes Only. Like, uh, that was kind of a letdown for me. It had so much potential. Um, yeah, K.O.D., let's go. J. Cole, make sure y'all like this video and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, let's get it, man. J. Cole, drop the album, bro. Um, oh, my God, bro. I, I can't even do it, man. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, intro, let's go. J. Cole, what you got for us, buddy? Buddy? My merry moments of communication. Mm hmm. <laughs> Laughter. Which says, I love this. Mm hmm. Or crying. Which says, This frightens me. Life can bring much pain. There are many ways to deal with this pain. Choose wisely. We finna go into some bars, okay, on the next track. So I'm prepping right now. Hoodie zipped up, hood on, strings tied. K. O. D. Okay. This is what you call a fool. Took keys from a car to bring me from your mama. K. O. D. He hard as shit. This is what you call a fool. Okay. Been cramping my style. Okay. Blowing my high, they wanna reply. The number one question is how. How does it feel now that you own? How much you work? How big is your home? How come you won't get a few features? I think you should. How about I don't? How about you just get the fuck on my dick? I feel like you're addressing somebody specific. But we don't know who. Who, 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 who? Listen and never forget. Uh. I'm gonna say this one time, then I'll dip. Niggas ain't worthy to be on my shit. Haven't you heard of a oh. tip? tip of oh. 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 He said y'all ain't worthy to be. Y'all ain't even worthy. I ain't even worthy. This is just a whole little label. This is catchy, this catchy. I like it, I like it. K.O.D. Hard shit. I grew up only through the love. My mind got my first year of blood. I'm hanging out and they shoot up the club. My homie got from a pseudocal club. Ooh. That is your daily. Spit so much. I give this, I give this. Add up his daddy should pay me. Your pet is made perfect on pet is his baby. Your pet is made perfect on pet is his baby. Oh, uh, what's the strongest? Love. Ooh, we got photographed right now. What you got for us, J. Cole? The next track is uh the cut up and it's featuring I guess his alter ego, Kill Edward, whatever that is, whatever that is. Okay. Wonder if you follow that. I hope to see you one day. Mm. I won't show my niggas now. Damn, I love your sense of humor. You don't get caught up in rumors. Mm. You don't be talking about who fucking who, and I noticed the way you maneuver. Sexy but never so too much. Ain't heard from you in like two months. Mm. I like his flow switch up. He rapping more like a. Mm. He rapping more like a mumble rapper. I, that, that, that's just my opinion. But I like the little flow switch up, and I know he's doing it on purpose. Niggas be talking so slick. I'm not the nigga for lip. Yeah. Put that my heart in the click. Yeah. Can't see my heart, it don't fit. Hey. Don't think I'm the for this shit. So this is basically a song about social media love, okay? By seeing a fine girl on social media basically just becoming a little bit infatuated with her and voila! <laughs> okay, since ain't nobody worthy of being on J. Cole album, Kill Edward, J. Cole, same person, okay? Mm. Keep on falling times. I know heaven is a mind state. I've been a couple times. 
stuck in my way, so I keep on falling down. I got some niggas that still owe me an apology. Mm. I'ma be the bigger man just like I always be. Eventually, but right now that's hard for me. I'm dreaming violent, I can't tolerate this loyalty. Place your value on the bitches that you got with me. And now the bitches ask you daily why you not with me. Ooh. I had to cut some people off because they was using me. My heart is big, I want it. Hold on, that's going to be on everybody caption. I had to cut some people off because they was using me. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. Everybody Twitter feed going to be like, I had to cut some people off because they was using me. You, you, you should already know. When somebody drop an album. Don't hit back for like two months now. You hit my Taking quotes. Me alone. No, I'm a We got ATM now, okay? Dang, we like not halfway through it. After the next track, we'll be halfway through it. But yeah, you get my drift. these regular rappers bro I don't know but I kind of like it though I kind of like it I put on a principle remember the teachers is all on my ass now the color them pitiful and now of a sudden I'm so good at math count it up count it up hello count it up I like that bop I fell in love with pit wheels and quick thrills my niggas running tip drills can't sit still don't give a fuck if fit kills it mix well I'm only counting big Proceed with caution. I heard if you taste it, it only results in mm. a hole in your heart. Fuck it, I take the whole cake and I won't leave a portion. It's only your organ. Thank God, Mama couldn't afford the abortion. The loneliest orphan. I flip my misfortune and grow me a fortune. Count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it, up, count it, up, count it, up, count it. Can't take it when you die. We are on motivate. Track six, halfway through it, already. Watch this. I feel like I'm gonna give most of my commentary at the end and not during the music. I can't have no sympathy for fuck, nigga. Mm. All this shit I see to make my blood, nigga. Spill one message even shout a double cup. Please don't hit my phone if it ain't about no commas. Keep the peace like Dolly Lama, big body hummers. Back in time to park and spot and go to lobby on him. He exempt Sean Kippy, keep that 40 on him. What a bait, 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 Too many times, just one of my pride, I'm cracking a smile, I'm dying inside. My demons are close, I'm trying to hide, I'm popping a pill, I'm feeling all right. And I got bread like I'm Green Day. I come around and they hit his turn. You still like bitches with hair perm? Nah, I like it natural, actual. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Or Kevin's heart. I mean, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hold on. We got brackets, okay? We on track eight right now. We got one, two, three, four more tracks to go. I'm, I'm really trying to, you know, be as non commentary right now. I'm gonna try to save it for the end when I really go through the whole album. Uh, so it might be a little boring to y'all. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk through most of the parts. And I really want to get my overall opinion at the end. But right now, it's you can't recreate a feeling, but I, I, I 
like I like the sound. Like if it was any other rapper, this would have been their best album so far. Like cause it's J. Cole, I'm used to, you know, getting the message. Niggas hating on me, I ain't used to that. No a couple people wanna shoot for that. Mm. I say no 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 chill, it ain't no need for that. I'm really just trying to vibe out to this. Just really take everything in right now. Cause I told y'all at the end, I'm just gonna get my overall opinion on uh, the stuff and how I'm feeling about it. First glance, I like it, but it's not J. Cole to me. You about crazy, nigga. 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 You I want a little message out here. I write a check to the IRS, my pockets get slim. Damn, do I even have a say about where it's going? Whew. The letting wet congressman I've never seen dictate where my money goes. Straight into the palms of some money hungry company that make guns that circulate the country and then wind up in my hood to make a bloody nose. Speak it right now. What to tell his mother he did good at the right Come on, man. Unlike his brother who was loved Come on. on the streets all day. Come on, J. Cole. I love this track right now. I love this track. Brackets. This is my favorite so far. I don't care what nobody say. Probably gonna be my favorite on the album, period. Because he touched on some political stuff. You know, we can pay our taxes. We don't know where it's going, what it's going into. It's going into people that's gonna do wrong with it. We got one to add it right now. An interlude. Sometimes I think pain is just a lack of understanding. Ooh. If we could only understand it all, would we feel no pain? Lost in a cloud of marijuana, young Carolina nigga, fish out of water, mm. stepdaddy, just had a daughter with another woman, mama ain't recovered yet, calling me at 12 at night, she drunk as fuck and I'm upset, gotta leave this house cause part of me dies when I see her like this, too young mm. to deal with pain, I'd rather run the streets and see her kill herself, so Phil became Damn. my escape from a feeling I hate, mama cursing me, I used to stay out later on purpose, subconsciously I was nervous, that if I came home early then what was surface was her inner demons, and Ooh. then I'd have to end up seeing my hero on crown zero tears flow while our green blow was enough Damn. i tell her mama go to sleep she tell me boy hush you better pray to god you never get your heart crushed i said gee this, this this hit me bro this hit me bro this hit me and mm. i was 1 a.m and my mama dialing my phone i know she intoxicated as soon as hot and i'm all comes crashing down she lit talking drunk shit i'm pissed but i'm still all ears like passing hounds thinking to myself maybe my mama need help I say how i feel when i do she's defensive for real well maybe things get better with time i heard it heals mm. little did i know how deep a sadness would go looking back i wish i would have did more instead of running We got friends featuring Kill Edward again. I love these three tracks that was before this. Kevin Hart's brackets and once added. I love them. I love once to add in brackets uh, the most of them. When I blow But I'm aggravated without it My saddest days are without it My saddest days are the loudest It's long strong Some niggas graduated to powder I dabbled later, I doubt it My database of narcotics is growing long This is for the whole fucking field I hope you're listening Smoking medical grade But I ain't got prescription 
All the way in Cali where they ain't got precipitation. Feeling like the only one that made it and I hate it. Blame it on crack, you can blame it on the system. Blame it on the fact that 12 got jurisdiction. To ride around the neighborhoods that they ain't never lived in. Blame it on the strain that you feel when daddy missed. What I'm trying to say is the blame can go deep as seas. Just to blame them all, I would need like 20 CDs. There's all sorts of trauma from drama that children see. Type of shit that normally will call for therapy. Keep that shit inside, it don't matter how hard it be. Fast forward, them kids is grown and they blowing trees. And popping pills due to chronic anxiety. I guess all the problems is they side. I get the message of the album now, okay? I'm sorry it took me so long, but I really get the message of the album. So, you know what? This this little last part of the video when I go over the album is going to be more clear to y'all. I'm going I'm to put where like I start actually like reviewing the album because I'm doing a chill just go by just to really take things in. Because usually when I listen to albums, I do the first reaction. I'm usually talking a lot, so I'm missing some of the bars. So, I'm taking the time to, you know... Listen to the bars, interpret it, and in the end, that's when I'm gonna do most of my talk. What thing about your demons, they bound to catch up one day. Mm. I'd rather sit you stand up and face them than run away. I understand this message is not the coolest to say. Mm. But if you down to try it, I know of a better way. Uh. When I blow, when I blow, am I wrong? Let me know. Feel so right to let things go. Don't think twice. Cop another bag of shrunk today. Okay, we got window pane. Next track is 1984. It's the intro to the fall off. Um, yeah, but um, we almost done with the album. Times I was down and confused. I know what I reap is what I will sow. All I ever wanted was to hear them bitches salivate. Get some money, touch respect, and now look, I got all of that. All I want to do is see my granny on the other side. Right now, stand out the window of my range and contemplating in my sane. Have I sacrificed for fame? My occupations on my brain. Thought that I could change it all if I had changed things. Niggas bang in the villa, I always thought that shit was strange. How you claim blood of cuz when that was just an LA thing? Mm. I don't mean Ooh, no disrespect. No, I'm just saying that it seemed like for acceptance, niggas will do anything. You see this, the transition in the regular J. Cole. Just because you're how could I with all you went through? A bullet hit your cousin in temple while Ooh. he was with you. Mm. And while you was talking, I was tearing up where's the tissue? If you was my sister, then I would kiss you. I know I'm blessed because your stress is realer than anything I done been through. Mm. Mm. Man, you still could have kissed on his forehead, bro. Gave her a hug. Black and celebrate. All I want to do is keep my niggas out the yellow tape. All I want to do is see my granny on the other side. All I want to do is kill the man that made my mama cry. Because God is trying to warn us or teach us a lesson. Okay. I was just going to say that. Last track. I arrived. 1985. 33 <laughs> years, damn, I'm grateful I survived. Uh. He wasn't supposed to get past 25. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Chokes on you, motherfucker, we alive. These niggas that can woke, but they broke, um. I respect the struggle, but you all fronting these days. Ooh. And they barely old enough to drive. Okay. I tell them what they should do. Who the fuck am I? I heard one of them diss me, I'm surprised. I got some good advice, never quit torn. Cause that's the way we eat here in this rap game. It really I'm is. What's your funky little rap name? I hear your music and I know that rap's change. Trap drums is the shit that's hot now. Mm -hmm. See, I've been on a quest for the next wave. Okay. But never mind, that was just a segue. I must say, by your songs, I'm unimpressed, hey. But I love to see a black man get paid. And But have you ever thought about your impact? These white kids love that you don't give a fuck. Because that's exactly what's expected when your skin black. They... I... You know, on the cover it says, in no way is this glorifying drugs and all that stuff. I, you really get the picture of what he's trying to say on the bottom half of the album, okay? Um, like, tracks one through six, I was like, kind of like, I was saying like, you know, I'm missing the message. Where's the message coming? But the message comes in the end, you know? It takes 
time for a story. There's a beginning, middle, and end, okay? Then we at the end, right? Okay? Yeah. See, they want to be black and think your song is how it feels. So when you turn up, you see them turning up jewels. You hit the next city, collect your money when it's due. You get in that paper swimming and bitches, I don't blame you. You ain't thinking about the people that's looking like me and you. Mm. True. When they them kids is listening, they gon' grow up. And get you old for that shit that made you blow up. For real. Now your soul's looking like cause they don't show up. Which unfortunately means the money slow up. And you're going through regrets cause you never bought that house. But you got a Benz. And Ooh. a bunch of jewels. And a bunch of shoes. And a bunch of fake friends. I ain't judging you. I'm just telling you what's probably going to happen when you rapping about the type of shit you rapping about. I'll be around forever cause my skills is tip top. Oh. Amateur niggas that want to get rock. Just remember what I told you when your shit flop. In five years you're going to be on love and hip hop. I'm dead. I'm dead. J. Cole. You just... You might have just did something, okay? You might have just did something. But these, this final thoughts is going to be epic, bro. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. The final thoughts right now. J. Cole, I get what you're trying to say. I get the message that you're trying to do. The cover art really shows that, like, towards the end. It really does show that because in no way are you glorifying it. No way at all. Uh, you're just saying, you know, focus on the impact. On the first half, it was basically like, you know, you went mumble rapper times two billion, trillion, gazillion, all that stuff. The way I interpreted it of, you know, the kids on drugs and the um, king overdose, you know, is basically like, you know, the impact that rappers and people in high positions can have on the youth, glorifying drugs and all that stuff. Um... Uh, glorifying addiction, that's what the picture says. Um, it's like, you know, King, hmm, kids on drugs really is like the aftermath of, you know, you glorifying addiction and drugs and all that stuff. And the result of the other people that go out and do this stuff because you make it seem like it's cool and all that, but your subject matter is not there, okay? Uh, I feel like J. Cole is trying to say, you know, um, we use, well, they, people use drugs and stuff to, you know, escape and to, you know, run away from the pain, but that's not the way that you do it. You have to face them straight forward, just like he said his mom. He said, you know, he wished that she would put down the bottle. Uh, what I got from that song is, you know, he wished that she would put down the bottle, talk to him, uh, but, you know, and it hurts him to see his mama like that, you know, which it would hurt anybody to see their mama like that. Um... And I feel like, you know, this album was just, you know, the first six tracks were like, first six, seven, uh, eight of them was like, you know, a mumble rapper on steroids. J. Cole was like, you know what, I'm going to do an album about, you know, addiction and drugs and all that. But I'm going to do the first latter half, mumble rap, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to be the best, just going to be the best goddamn mumble rap album ever. That's what I'm going to put, this is what the caption going to be, the best mumble rap of all time. Uh, best mumble rap album of all time. Um, I love the message of it because, you know, you don't really get it until you get it. And when you get it, it's like, God, 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 me, bro. You're going in because, you know, on the end, you really get a glimpse of, you know, how he feels about, you know, stuff. Because he probably went through it himself, you know, using weed and all the other stuff to escape problems and stuff like that. Which he knows that that's not the way to go about it because, you know, you got to address your problems straight up you can't keep uh rapping about it and all that uh for all your life because you know people gonna grow up and they gonna grow out of it um uh you gonna need to you know change the subject matter because you are a person of high importance to a lot of people and your voice travels and they gonna listen to what you're saying j cole you are a mastermind okay you a mastermind because i get what you're trying to do i get what you're trying to say i love it um i'm here for it I, I, like j cole bro you really couldn't have done this album better. Uh, to me, my favorite uh, tracks on here are... Well, actually, you can just take a pick on any other uh, bottom half. Because the first half, you know, I, because I'm not used to J. Cole, you know, rapping like it. It was basically, somebody put on Twitter that he was a sophisticated Migos. I'm not used to the sophisticated Migos. So it kind of, you know, drew me back a little bit. But when you get through to me, really, I started to feel the J. Cole from track seven on down and from track seven on down you can take your pick on whichever one because that's my them my favorite songs off the album not to say that the other ones aren't good they are still good uh it would be the best you know mumble rap, mumble rap like i said the best uh, type of rap 
there is, but because it's J. Cole, and we know J. Cole, like the rappers that do that is like right here in terms of the scale of bars and you know stuff. But J. Cole is like up here, so I'm used to that up here and not you know you you trying to you know bring it down there, but I guess that's a way for him to get that audience to listen and once they get to that bottom half, that bottom half is where it's gonna get you because it's like and it really gets personal with you. He gets personal with you and I like that. Um I really love uh, the interlude. I love the last track. The last track was just like, man, dude, rappers, if your stuff is, you know, stuff that's not going to, hmm, he says my bars is there. That's how I'm going to do it. He says my bars is there, so I'm basically going to live forever in my music. Your music is not really bar heavy. Your music does not say anything. It has no message. So, you know, you might want to not change your whole thing, but make it so the way that you have relevance for the rest of your life and make sure that you do the right things so you can uh, make make the right connections do everything that you can so that when you do when you do like fall off because it's gonna happen it's gonna happen to them that you have a plan a course of action and don't live up on uh, don't end up on love and hip hop um yeah uh j cole you did your thing on here um i wasn't really into it but when i got to the bottom half i keep telling y'all the bottom half because the bottom half to me is like God, Lee, bro, you really went in. Um, if I was to rate the album, I know I don't usually rate projects, but I would give it like a six or a seven because of that first half. If it, if it was more like the last half, it'd probably be like an eight or a nine, but me, it's a six or a seven. Uh, I know other people on YouTube probably gonna give it higher. Other people probably gonna give it lower, but that's just mine. I'd be like a 7.5 more on terms to like that 7.5 on up to like that eight. Um, if Let me know how you felt about the album. I liked it. I actually loved it. I like I liked the album as a whole. Uh, liked the first half. Loved the bottom half. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna keep talking about that bottom half because that bottom half got to me and it spoke to me because you know we got really deep. Um, yeah, it's been your boy King Brando. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't know what else to say. J Cole, you did your thing. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Take me to the truth